What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be installing and reviewing this LED retrofit light kit. So let's get started. So I recently picked these up for around $23 at my local Home Depot, which if you consider the fact that they're giving you four of the lighting trims at that price, they're costing under six bucks a piece, which uh, in my mind is a great value. So the reason why I can give you a review on these today is because I installed the same kit in my kitchen about two or three months ago. I've been very happy with the results. I haven't experienced any problems with these lights. You can see I did four of them in here. Uh, the light output has been great. No complaints in that regard. And like I said, they've been very reliable. I have had some negative experiences with LEDs in the past, but like I said, these have been very good and I highly recommend them, uh, especially at the price point that they're at. Now, aside from the price, the main reason that I went ahead and purchased this particular brand is because you can select the individual color of each one of these fixtures in this box here, as you can see by this list. Now, I have the ones in my kitchen currently set at 3500K, which Commercial Electric calls a neutral white. But having this, you can go ahead and you can pick any one of the main five colors that they sell in the stores. I think that's a really good feature. And I found when I installed the ones in my kitchen here, these are a pretty good representation of what each of these colors are. All right, guys, I just wanted to go over some of the specs here before we move on with the install. Again, this is a four pack. These fit a five and six inch recessed light fixture. I'm gonna go over that shortly and show you how that works. All right, this is a 65 watt bulb replacement. So in other words, this takes the place of a 65 watt incandescent bulb and uses only nine watts. So that is a significant energy savings if this is the first time you're doing an LED retrofit from incandescent bulbs. It's dimmable, and that's pretty important. You can find some LEDs out there that aren't dimmable, and you get buzzing noises, the lights flicker. I haven't had any problems with that in my kitchen. I have these hooked up to a dimmer. They've been working great. They instantly turn on. All LEDs instantly turn on. I think the main reason they put that there is if you're doing a conversion from an old CFL bulb. And you remember how those used to work. When you turn the switch on, it took a couple minutes for the bulbs to heat up and come up to full light intensity. Okay, and finally, these are rated at 90 CRI. CRI stands for Color Rendering Index. And basically, what that means is how well this light fixture renders colors at each one of these individual Kelvin temperatures. And generally speaking, anything 90 and above is considered pretty good. I'm going to put a link down in the description where you can get these online if you don't have a Home Depot in your area or you just like buying things online like I do. Click on the link, it'll bring you right to the product page where you can purchase this kit. Alright, so I want to show you guys what comes in each individual kit. Obviously you have your instruction manual. I don't think you're going to need this. This install is pretty straightforward. Comes with four lights, like I said, so that corresponds to being installed into four individual hi hats in your house. This kit accommodates a five inch and a six inch recessed light housing. Okay, so most common you're going to find six inch, that's what I have throughout my house. They come preset for six inch housings. Okay, you can see here it's got this clip that slides back and forth. If you have a five inch recessed fixture, you'd loosen up this screw on either side and you can adjust this back and forth which brings these spring clips in and out depending on again what can you're going to be installing it in. Uh, this also comes with obviously the wiring harnesses. Now this is pretty straightforward. You're going to remove the bulb in your existing fixture. You're going to screw this into the socket. On the other end of each one of those is a quick connect clip and that corresponds to each individual trim baffle. So you'd be plugging this in and that's what powers the LEDs in each one of these, okay? They also give you a pack of these friction clips. Uh, if you don't want to use the spring clips, you can install these. I haven't used these yet, so I can't really give you a review on these. I don't really see a need for these. These will pretty much fit into a majority of the light fixtures that are out there today, okay? Just wanted to show you also how you adjust the color temperature of the LED. It's got a switch on the top of each one of these lights and you basically just move this back and forth to select the color temperature that you want. It's not really an easy thing to select if you want to keep changing them because you have to take each individual one of these down out of the can and adjust the switch and put it back. So it's pretty much a set it and forget it type of deal. Alright guys, for this first fixture here, I'm going to show you on the tripod and then when we do the second one, I'm going to take you off the tripod and I'll try to give you a close-up of exactly what I'm doing. I recommend you shut the power off before you start for the purpose of the video. I'm going to keep it on just so we have some light in here so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, I'm going to unscrew the bulb. The 
existing trim ring you have to remove. Again, the new light has all that integrated into it. To remove this, there's usually two springs that are attached to the actual plastic baffle that go up into the housing. You're just going to lift up on the spring, let go, and it'll come down. There's usually two, like I said. I'm going to do the other one the same way. Then this whole thing will come right down out of the ceiling. This is similar if you're painting your ceiling when you remove these things, okay? Same type of deal. Taking them out, you're not going to use these anymore. You can save them or throw them in the garbage, whatever you choose to do. In the housing, like I said, we're going to be using the spring clips on the side of this. In my housings here, the recessed can up in the ceiling, there is tabs, four of them, two on each side, that you basically bend into place. Right now, they're bent in the upright position because they weren't used for the installation of that plastic ring that used to be in here. So you're going to go ahead and bend all four of them down into place. Again, I'm going to show you this on the next fixture. Okay. Once those are all bent into place, we're going to go ahead and take our socket adapter. We're going to go ahead and screw that in. Again, make sure you turn your power off. I recommend you do that just so you don't have any accidents. Mine's on, like I said, so you can see what I'm doing. That's screwed in there tight. What we're going to go ahead and do now is just take the other end of that adapter, or the other end of that socket, and it's got the quick connect on here. We're going to go ahead and plug our new fixture in. And that's about all there is to it, all right? Right now, that is set on 2700K, warm white. I'm going to go through each one of these now. I don't know how well you guys are going to see this on camera. Maybe it'll show up, okay? So, here's the first selection. Or the first selection, like I said, was 2700K. The next one is soft white, 3000K. This next one is neutral white, 3500K. The next one is bright white, 4000K. And then the last one is Daylight 5000K. All right. Like I said, I'm going to be setting these for 3500K to match my kitchen. And I'm going to go ahead now and just squeeze the spring clips, put them into place into each one of those tabs on either side. I'm going to make sure that the wire is up above the actual fixture now inside the can. Making sure it's not getting crushed when I'm pushing this up. And that's it. All done. Takes you like a minute to do each one of these. Real, real easy process. All right. I got four more to do here in this room. I'm going to take you off the tripod to show you the next one. But I wanted to give you an idea of the light output of the new one as opposed to the old one. I don't know if you could see that. I believe the old LED bulbs that I have in these fixtures are 2700K. I selected the new ones at 3500K. All right, let's get to the next one now. All right, guys, so I'm going to do this the best I can here. Hopefully this isn't too shaky. But you're going to go ahead and remove the bulb. And we'll take that out of there. Now, you can see up in here those springs I was talking about. You got one over here, and you also have one over here. You can see how the trim baffle, the existing one, is connected on the bottom. And then when you go up there in the top, it's connected on the other side. What you just got to do is just reach on the top of that, lift up on the spring, it'll pop right off. All right, going to do the same thing on this side here. Lift up and take it off. Then you can see what I'm talking about, how, how that thing is clipped on the top. You grab that little circular piece right there, this, this one right here on my thumb is. You can kind of grip that in your fingers like this and then lift up, pop that thing off, okay? All right, now I told you I bent out some tabs to fit those spring clips. They're right here. There's one, there's one, then on the other side, there's another two, okay? One there and one there. What you're going to do is just take your screwdriver, put it underneath, bend it away from the housing a little bit, and just take your finger and pry it down. Okay, same thing. Bend it down a little bit, pry it down, come on this side, you're going to do the same thing, bend it down, last one, screwdriver in there, bend it away a little bit, so you can get, do a little more here, bend it away a little bit, 
So you can get your finger in there and pry it down. That's all you got to do with that. Gonna go ahead and take our socket adapter. That's just gonna get, see there's a socket up there, right? Let's screw this guy right in. All right, that's all ready to go. Go ahead and take our fixture here. Now this is gonna be a little difficult to do on camera. Let me see if I can do this. Probably not. All right, well, you're not gonna see on camera me plugging this thing in, but it's uh, it's pretty straightforward, all right? You're just gonna go ahead. It only goes in there one way, and you're gonna plug that guy in. Again, here's our switch with our color temperature. We're gonna put this at 3500K to match everything else. One more click right there. All right, now, last part. You're gonna take the clip. See how I'm bending this with two of my fingers? You're gonna go ahead and bend it, and Clip it in to those two tabs that we bent out and just let it sit there on the top. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, we're going to bend them and I don't know if you can see that, but let me see if I can get it on camera for you guys. Just like that, okay? So they're, they're basically sitting on each one of those tabs on either side now. Once you got that all set up, make sure your wire isn't going to get pinched. Make sure it's up above the trim in the fixture. And you're just going to go ahead and push up. And that's it. Friction holds that thing into place. There's no screws or anything. It's a pretty easy setup and install. Okay, so there's two of them done. And one additional thing I wanted to show you guys. Sometimes when you go ahead and take those springs off the inside of the fixture, you're going to notice that the trim ring doesn't come down off the ceiling. That's probably because someone along the line didn't remove it and rolled over the top of it when they painted. So the paint is holding it in place. What you're gonna go ahead and do is just take a knife and you're just going to trim along the top of the ring here to cut that paint line and then it should fall right down when the springs are removed. All right guys, I'm in the other room now installing the other four LED baffles and I wanted to show you this. This is a newer style can. I installed these a couple years back and you can see those tabs in here. They're already bent down and into place. All right, so just depends on what you already have. You might not need to bend them like I showed you with the screwdriver. They might be all set up for you ready to go. All right guys, well that pretty much wraps it up. As you can see, I went ahead and got this room done as well. I waited until it got dark out so you guys can take a peek and see what this looks like. Very, very happy with this kit. Again, it's the same one that I installed in my kitchen several months ago. I highly recommend it. Again, Commercial Electric. I'll put a link down in the description. Or you can visit your local Home Depot and pick yours up there. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give the like button a tap. If you got a question or comment, post it down below. Maybe you want to check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.